Hi there and welcome to day two. We're gonna start down on the mat today and you're gonna need a little bit of equipment. So I'm using here a block, but you can just use a cushion that will work just as well or a hand towel. So we're gonna start down in tabletop. So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and we're gonna start with a little bit of mobility for the spine, the hips and the shoulders. So with a nice flat back, tailbone slightly tucked underneath, we're gonna take a breath in. And then as we breathe out, we're gonna push the tailbone underneath, press the chin into the chest as we pull the belly up towards the ceiling. And then as we breathe in, we're gonna relax it back down. And again, as we breathe out, we're gonna squeeze that tailbone under, chin into the chest to lift the spine. And again, as we breathe in, we're just gonna relax, just pushing that tailbone up slightly. So we're moving between two movements called cat-cow, just to get that spine moving. Now again, to make this a little bit more dynamic for the hips, we're gonna to start to sit the hips back a little. So from here, you're gonna push your tailbone down towards your right heel lengthening through the arms we're going to circle across to the left heel and then we're going to come all the way up and push the shoulders slightly ahead of the wrists and again all the way back down now it doesn't matter which direction you start in here because we're going to go the other way in a second we're just going to take maybe four in one direction and then four in the other so trying to make this movement as big as you can. Now, if you're on a thin mat or, you know, on a hard surface, we're gonna go the other way now. You can always use a small hand towel underneath your knees if it feels a little bit uncomfortable on the knees. So again, making those big hip circles, moving into the hips, the knees, the shoulders, warming up the wrists. We're gonna take two more and then we're gonna get moving. Last one. Good, well done. And then from here, I'm just gonna come up onto the knees briefly. We're just gonna interlace the fingers and we're just gonna rock out the wrists, just to loosen off a little bit into the wrists before we get started. So coming back down into tabletop, the first exercise we're gonna to do today is called thread the needle. So this is a mobility exercise for the spine. So again, the hand slightly forwards of the shoulders. We're gonna start by taking the left hand out a little bit wider. If you're on a mat, a standard size mat, little finger to the edge of the mat, and you're gonna have the back of the hand underneath the belly. Now, we're gonna take a breath in, and then as we breathe out, we're gonna bend into the left elbow to push the right arm through to bring the shoulder down towards the mat. And then as we breathe in, we're gonna draw the arm up and we're gonna open up and look up at the fingers. Again, as we breathe out, we're gonna push the arm through. Now you're gonna move at your own pace and don't worry if you can't get the shoulder all the way down. With practice, you will increase your range of motion. Now, if you wanna challenge your core a little bit here, you can have a go at sliding the left leg back, tucking the toes underneath, but just be careful here, particularly as you push that arm through, that you don't roll back. Good, so really pushing those wrists up over the shoulders. We wanna try and open into the chest. Last one. And then we're just gonna bring the hands back down here. We're gonna sit back into our rest position. Now, if you're not comfortable coming all the way back here on the heels, you can just rest the forearm down, pull arms down and just stay here. You don't need to rest back if you can't quite get a full bend in the knee or if it gives you cramp. So moving on, we're gonna do the same to the other side. So you're gonna take the right hand to the edge of the mat, little finger to the edge, and then we're gonna bring the back of the left hand underneath the belly. So exactly the same again, we're gonna take a breath in, so we glide the arm all the way through, bringing that shoulder down towards the mat, bending into the right elbow. And as we breathe out, we're gonna come all the way up, open the chest. 
Again, trying to get as much mobility through the back of the body here as you can. Relaxing so you get the most amount of movement. Don't worry too much. If you struggle to get the hang of the breathing, it really doesn't matter as long as you breathe. And again, if you want to challenge your balance a little bit here, you're going to take your right leg back this time, hooking those toes underneath. Again, bringing that arm through and then opening up. We're going to take two more. So this is a really nice exercise for the back of the body. Good, well done, last one. Good, well done. And then from here, we're just gonna sit back. Again, just loosen off into the wrists, either back in your child's pose, or you can stay a little bit further forwards. And again, just loosen off. Good, well done. So just get your breath, get your breathing back under control. Good, and then from here, we're gonna come down onto our front, and we've got this exercise for the back of the body. So this is also called swimming, and it's a bit similar to the exercise we do on the hands and knees, but we're down on our front, really works the back of the body. So you don't have to rest your head on anything, but I'm gonna rest my forehead on a block here. You can rest your head on a cushion. And then I'm gonna fully extend my arms here, either side of the block, with my legs lengthened away from my hips. Now, if you have any limitation in shoulder or hip mobility, you might find this quite challenging. So again, good for mobilizing the shoulders and the hips. So we're gonna start by taking a breath in. And then as you breathe out, I want you to lengthen your right arm from the shoulder. So you're lifting it up and away from the floor. And then as you breathe in, you're gonna lower down. And as you breathe out, you're gonna lengthen the left arm again, keeping the arm nice and straight. Try and avoid bending at the elbow. Good, now if you really struggle with shoulder mobility here, you can have your arm a little bit lower down and just push the arm up with the elbow slightly bent. The exercise is typically done with the arm straight, but particularly if you've got one side, then just bring the arm down. Now we're gonna to start to move into the lower body. So let's leave the arm still. We're gonna take a breath in now. And again, as we breathe out, this time we're gonna lengthen from the right hip. We take a breath in as we lower back down. Your forehead is staying down the whole time, by the way. As we breathe out, we're gonna lengthen the left. Now, again, important here that we're not bending at the knee. So as you lengthen, lightly point the toes. Have a little squeeze of your bum cheeks here, pushing your hips down. We want to encourage a lengthening from the hips. Now, we can start to put the two movements together. Now, we can do one at a time, so we might take a breath in, and then we might start with just the right arm, and then we lower down, and then we might go over to the left leg. And then again, over to the other side, left arm, and then over to the right leg. I would suggest doing each arm, each leg, first of all, see how it feels, warm up the shoulders, and then your progression option here is to move opposite arm, opposite leg at the same time. Now again, as we're lifting the hip away here, we're not, or lifting at the, lengthening at the top of the thigh, we're not lifting the hip all the way off. So the hip bone should be staying down. We're just lengthening from the top of the thigh. Feeling a little space between the upper thigh and the mat, but keeping that hip bone down. Good, let's take one more to each side. Good, well done. And then from here, we're gonna slide the hands in under the shoulders and we're gonna come up for a stretch. 
So a really good stretch here is cat stretch as we did for our warm up. This gives us a nice little bit of relief. And again, we're gonna relax it down. Good, and again, squeezing that tailbone under, chin into the chest, and release. Good, well done. Now, we're gonna switch position. We're gonna do a little bit of work for the core. We're gonna come round into seated. Now, this exercise is going to help to mobilize the pelvis and strengthen the core but it isn't an easy exercise. So we're gonna break it down. Hands behind the backs of the thighs here, feet flat to the floor. So we're gonna keep hold of the thighs. We're gonna start with a lovely long spine. So we're gonna draw the shoulder blades down. We're gonna lift the chest. And then we're gonna start the movement from the pelvis. So you're gonna take a breath in and then as you breathe out, we're gonna to start to tip the tailbone under. So if this is your pelvis, we're tucking the tailbone under, rolling back through the pelvis. And then as we breathe in, we're gonna roll all the way up. We're gonna use our hands here to sit nice and tall, shoulders down. Again, as we breathe out, we're going to start to tuck the tailbone under, allow the arms to lengthen, rolling through the pelvis. And again, as we breathe in, we roll up through the pelvis. We sit nice and tall. Good, so this is your movement. The movement is led by the pelvis. So as you roll back here, you're tucking the tailbone under. And then as you roll up, you're sitting nice and tall. Now, if you want to make this a little bit more challenging, as you roll back, you can take the arms away. And then as you come all the way up, again, you can use your hands to lift you back up. So as we roll back, we lift the arms, giving ourselves a little bit more challenge through the core. And then again, using the arms to lift us up. And of course, your final option here would be just to keep the hands off. So as you roll up here, you're using your core to lift you back up. Good, so really try to tip through the pelvis and roll through the pelvis. Try not to just hinge back. Use this opportunity to mobilize the pelvis, tuck the tailbone underneath, feel those lower abdominals working, and then roll all the way up. We're gonna take one more Good, well done. And then just bring the hands back here. Just allow the hips to open, take a little bit of a stretch. Good, well done. Good, and then from here, we're just gonna take a little bit of a stretch. So come down onto your back, take your legs flat to the floor and just lengthen the arms overhead. Full body stretch, just to release a lot of any tension through the abdomen. And of course, from that lovely Superman that we did on our front to start with. Good, well done. That is your day two done. So just three exercises today because we had to do both sides for the first one. But I look forward to seeing you tomorrow where again, we've got some new exercises to introduce you to. Take care.